other. So the mission of Moray House Trust, as you will see from your program, is to, and I quote, foster national pride in Guyana's diverse heritage, to enable all forms of artistic expression, to promote conversations, civil liberties, and sports in our society, and to stimulate the sharing of knowledge and ideas within a vibrant public sphere. It's in pursuit of this goal that Moray House Trust has invited this evening's guest speakers, Gaitra Bahadur and Raul Bhattacharya, who you see at the front, two very talented writers whose recent publications have very much put Guyana on the map. <coughs> Both of our guests live outside of Guyana, but both have written about Guyana, um, both of them very highly acclaimed for their work. Miss Bahadur's work was one of three non-fiction books shortlisted for the Bocas Prize in 2014, and is one of six shortlisted for the Orwell Prize to be awarded later this month. She's holding her breath. In 2012, Mr. Bhattacharya's novel won the Royal Society of Literature on Dutch. Is, do you say it on Dutchy? I guess he does. Okay, thank you. And, and in, oh, I said it. And in 2011, the Hindu Literary Prize. It was shortlisted for the Man Asian Literary Prize in 2011 and in 2012 for the Commonwealth Book Prize. Mr. Bhattacharya lives in Bombay and we are very glad to have both him and Gaitra here with us. First of all, let me tell you a little bit more about Gaitra. I'm not going to talk long because I know you don't want to hear from me, but just a, a wee bit to let the latecomers come in. First, um, Gaitra, Gaitra's family migrated from Cumberland Village, East Kanji, when she was just seven, and they now live in the New York area. This book, which is a study of indentureship in Guyana, was published by the University of Chicago Press earlier this year, and it's entitled, somewhat controversially, Cooley Woman. Um, I understand that Gaitra has received quite a bit of flack for that title, but she's well able to explain why she called it that. Um, Cooley Woman is the author's personal quest to trace her ancestors and to discover what were the experiences of Indian women who made the journey to these parts. The reader, and that means me at this particular moment, is astounded by the meticulous scholarship and unremitting probing that went into reconstructing a past that frequently presents as many questions as answers. Apart from the book, Gaitra has been staff writer for the Philadelphia Inquirer but now she freelances, writing regularly for the New York Times Book Review, The Nation, and for the magazine, Miss. She prefers to write on immigration and gender issues. Welcome back to Guyana, Miss Bahadur. We're very, very happy to see you, and welcome especially to Moray House. We're looking forward very much to hearing you talk about your work and the fascinating things that you discovered as you probed into the archives around the world. And from me, congratulations on such serious scholarship. Very, very serious work in your book. Well done. And we are equally delighted to welcome to Moray House another author whose novel has brought us delight, embarrassment, some degree of irritation, and a great deal of discussion. I'm referring, of course, to Rahul Bhattacharya's astonishing novel, The Sly Company of Those Who Care, published in 2011. The Sly Company, clearly semi-autobiographical, traces the adventures of a young cricketing journalist from Calcutta who documents his adventures in Guyana while on a year's refresher break. Mr. Bhattacharya's style has inevitably, and perhaps rather annoyingly, frequently been compared to Naipaul's. That's because we find Naipaul irritating too, right? <laughs> the novel ranges over idyllic descriptions of Guyana's natural beauty and witty, satirical presentations of the foibles of Guyana's people. Actually, I wondered how you managed to meet so many weird people. 
but actually there are an awful lot of very strange people in Guyana. I, I was saying to somebody as we were getting ready to come in that I, I think we are extraordinarily tolerant of eccentricity in this country. Maybe that's why I'm allowed to be here. Okay. Um, in, in his novel, Raoul even gives us a love story for good measure. Many of you have managed to get a copy of the book and you were part of the lively and sometimes heated discussions that it provoked. Raoul's style is always compelling, whether he's reminding us of the beauty of our country or teasing us for being so very, very strange. I'm not so sure about the love story, but I'm sure you'll want to talk about that too. So a very warm welcome to you, Rahul. We're delighted to have you here, and we're looking forward to a very informative and entertaining evening together. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Gaitra Bahadur and Rahul Bhattacharya as our special guests at Moray House for this evening.